Okay, this is a new video, and I want to present it to you. And this video is our PT2 video. Explain to you the simple PT2 video with buy and sell how successful we have been, and you can too. These are actual trades that were made on this chart, giving us buy and sell signals. Let me give you the first one, GDX. And all we do is we follow our sell signals. When we have a crossover, and then it crosses below this red line. I have to have a cross over below 80%. And as long as this is red, you just line it up with these little dots here. See it? And when you have that crossover, you move it over, over, over. And there's the crossover right at this dot right here. See it? So you know to start shorting it right in this area here. And we made money all the way down to this point. Now we're going to watch it closely. So if it starts turning over like this, we're going to start taking money off. And then, then when it starts turning up again over here, and it starts turning green for a couple of days. So what it normally does is this. So this will stop, and it should go flat. So we'll take off our return of about 13% on our money. Now what we'll do is we're going to wait to buy it. So we're going to get a buy signal. So this signal, the institution has told us, this thing is so beautiful. It tells us when the institutions are taking their money out. And here they took their money out. They'll tell us when they're putting back in. This will turn up. And then when we get a couple green days, our computer will pick up when the institutions, okay, that have GDX, when they're going to start funding it again. And this will turn green. Our computer can read that. So we then start buying it. Look over here. You see how this crossed over? But this was still red, so we didn't start, we didn't start, we didn't start right here. So the minute if we line this up right down here with this dot right here, that's when we started to buy. So you buy on a crossover, you sell on a crossover. See what I'm saying? So easy. I'll give you one more. And you can follow us. And our, the best thing to do is follow us on these specific stocks. I'll give you another one we did, WLT. We have about a 40% gain on this one. Same thing. This crossed over. We had our crossover. was below 80%. Crossover. We check our dot. We go up. And there it was. Boom. Right there. It told us to start shorting right at that point. And we did. And now we're up big time. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, wait till it turns, turns green, and we'll start buying. So there you have it. So now... We're starting a program, a retirement fund program for our company. This is separate, uh, different than the S&P 500, okay? And what we're going to do is shift everything out of the S&P 500 into the PT2 group. But in the PT2, what we're going to do is we're going to add to the SPY, we're going to add IWM and EEM. So we're going to have the small mid-cap stocks and the emerging markets. The SPYs, IWM, and EEM all have inverses. So I'll give you an example. So if we take IWM and IWM, as we short IWM because it's red and we got a crossover, so we start shorting it. Once it turns over and heads back up, or I'm sorry, when it if we want to we want to short this, but we're afraid to short, we just do an inverse. See, a lot of people are afraid to short. So what we'll do is we'll switch it. It's the same thing as short it, but you buy it. And it's RWM. So it's RWM. And that's an inverse, see it? So we end up buying it when it crosses over and it turned green. So we start buying. It's because people sometimes have a hard time shorting. They don't they say, How can you short something? So instead of confusing them, we're gonna have SPY. We're gonna do three of them. This is all you need for our retirement fund, and you can set your retirement fund up doing the same thing I'm doing. SPY, and then the inverse is going to be SH. There you go. And then we're going to have IWM. There you go. Crossed over, nice nice short. But if we're afraid to short, then we got an inverse, RWM, which is buying, but we're making money as it goes down. It's called inversing it. And then we have one more, which is EEM, the emerging markets. You all want to have emerging markets. You need that in your portfolio. And there you go. So we're going to have a portfolio, and the EEM, our inverse on that, 
to go short is EUM. And there you go. So we're going to have, I'm putting together a portfolio under the Working Investor Group using this PT2, and the portfolio is going to be just these three groups, Fighters, IWM, EEM. So if you want to start your own retirement fund, instead of being with that crazy 401k, do the same thing that we're doing. So in the beginning, you don't even need the PT2. You can follow us. Then if you get used to the PT2 and you want to do like we do with individual or, or individual stocks, you can do that like WLT. That was an individual stock. And look what we did. We shorted it, see? So my point I'm making to you is that you want you just start out with SPY, IWM, EEM. This is going to be our new investment group. This is what Donnie's going to be trading with. For me and Donnie will be trading our own money in here. And you can just pick up on it. So when we buy one of them, you buy. When we sell it short, you do. How simple is that? So we're going to start a new fund with just these three groups that are participating in that fund. It's going to be a retirement fund. Okay. Now, you can't be in that retirement fund. Obviously, you're not a, a, not a employee, but you certainly can copy us, and it doesn't cost anything. It's only $49.95 a month for the membership, and then that small commission you pay. Get away from those 401ks. If you just do these three groups for a year, you'll go, wow, why didn't I do this long ago? Okay? See you on the charts.